vote over the message saying uh, the vote the vote will be read. Thank you. Go ahead. And once the tower would in the pickies and Nivan, the ones the tower would in the Wira Nivan, you are right about amplification, amplification of that voice. And the Mugatar is up a space pan up a murabot, ten, but Zokoroza, that same message. So the Kadabita ratio, ye kuti, what message is more amplified? Ye kuti, let's go and register, let's go and register. Can out the Andrew Gutower, I mean, you could wow list people have registered, let's protect and make sure that the process is 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 free and fair. Munuana would ye knew do it amplified. Unless Marku to the Gandhi Nyara Arinyach, because if we're talking about ratios, he right now to retain is to one. Im retain Murungota or to Dangota or the simplified version, you wouldn't get in the no register, and that is fine, and that is the amplification that you're looking for. In meaning, Rukuns are the voice of reason, you would, while least you are telling people to do that, let's cultivate ground and prepare. Kutipato Shikamu boxing momos, one water, cocoa roads, a good way in the vase, Javaning was Shikavachisa roads, and these which has which has which has it as a which has a Buddhist could endure result. Unless Mark to Tayong got in Bunyara Rinya. But Mukadaro Manja, I will advise you to panangua yekuti mitejinu in singular or in silos like that. If these things have to be connected and have to run simultaneously, then they have to go up as a scene. Tukitaura nizu eight months. So panafana onge pane wargu manyi zana. Ninya adze kuti yes registration. Chichichi ma youth tichidaru. Ma new voters, ma virgin voters. Iti sichidaru. Pana varu kufano nguwa jimanyi zana ni idzotsu. But in the same time, and papa said mutrek number two. Pana varu kufano kumanyi zana kutuora iti kwa triku enda kwa chukuti wa uye kuno vota. Kwa kachengi tezwa ya. Kuri prepared ya. De zipi jataka ita in the last election. Junuda kukazi De zipi junuda kuti titizu kwanza kuti election yoyo ya pera wanu 10 million wataunga niza whatever we now have as a result is the genuine thing you can't do these things as separate silos you can't say is a zizi ni 8 months is tudangu ita zikuti wanu kwa endo no voter no because mkatanga kuti right tudaku protect a vote in terms of making sure that we have observers a, a, a third party observer you have to start the dialogue now with the people that can provide that support, uh, whether you're partnering with uh, other stakeholders, you have to start it now and then bringing up the finances that are needed or bringing up the, the, the resources that are needed uh, and, and spreading the message. And it, just as much as you have to spread the message, you could go vote right now in the now, in the moment. And it, I, I feel uh, I've been having these conversations a lot uh, with my fellow countrymen. I feel we always come from a position where uh, only one thing can be right and only one uh, thing has to be done at a time. At the same time, at the correct. And I've listened to discussions where you are always trying to discredit each other, never trying to see Kuti. we have a variety of ideas. And we can all bring them together and work on them simultaneously to create a masterpiece, a mosaic, a, 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 a beautiful painting that is not one shade, but a, a, a variety of colors. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So if you want amplification in terms of rallying people to go and register to vote, you already have that amplification. I can tell you that for all the people that are going to have the conversation here, a, a, a 20 who we'll say let's go just go register to vote and most likely two will say what i am saying you see uh, thank you host yeah if i may respond or add my contribution hosts and co-hosts yeah go ahead Thank you. Uh, yeah, Tadini, uh, in Angu, honestly, I think I'm definitely in the ones who say register to vote. I'm also in the group that says uh, go and vote. And I'm also in the group that also says uh, we also have to defend the vote. Uh, I think uh, I believe everybody um, who's uh, or s most of the people, especially the ones that I interact with, they understand the importance of the reg of registering, then showing up and then defending. So it's a threefold thing which has to happen. Uh, whether we like it or not. Uh, and um, the, the question I now have 
is why is it that there's only one political party, I'm not even going to say even opposition or nothing, but a, one political party that I've noticed, which is working tirelessly to uh, its members, especially its supporters, are working tirelessly, that is Triple C, of course, to uh, get people registered. This is the, the citizens on the ground working as much as they can to register people. ZANU-PF is doing none of that. ZEC has failed. We know it's an umbrella of ZANU. Uh, there's no adverts even to say Kutivanu and Emuno voter. Then we look at other opposition parties, the 100 plus uh, political parties. None of them do you ever hear them but you push a narrative you go and they know you. Chavo chete, hey, vote for us. We will bring this, we will bring this change. You know, you say change, you actually. Pasina kushanda pamwe chete kutitito tuvanu va register in the first place because that benefits everybody. Then to get them to actually show up on the day and then later on to defend the vote. I have yet to see a political party other than uh, Triple C, which is actually working tirelessly to ensure that uh, it's it's meeting all these strands that you yourself, uh, Tadini, have mentioned. And yes, defending is very important. And the question is, with, this is the first time I'm actually hearing about uh, or that uh, organization, Yawataura. And I'd love to know, to know more about them and to see where are they when we have these type of discussions. We've seen them, they are visible. We've seen but we, the, that name you, you, you brought forward, I was actually like trying to Google. And why is this the first time I'm, I'm actually hearing about them? I'm not saying that I know everything or that I'm preview to all the information in the world. But surely we've had elections more, uh, I mean, over the what last how many decades? And this is the actual first time I'm hearing that. And what I would like to know is, where do they stand, Pakuti Batsira? Can I teach you observe? The, I'll, I'll even um, explain why I'm saying Kuti Triple C. I've seen them everywhere. We've seen Call to Act which is a platform which is raising funds, a citizen's platform, you could support are defending the vote. Uh, citizens, I should not contribute to because Tadina, Panachi Singale Marumong, and there's money being raised. I haven't seen any other political party raising any sort of money for anything when it comes to uh, trying to secure. So my question is to those political parties who never, ever, ever mention these issues of let's defend the vote or any other things that I've said, where are they going to do it? What is mana going to come from heaven? And then they, they think on the day, uh, they're just going to show up and say, yes, let's defend. When they're trying to sort of uh, jump on the bandwagon of another political party, which has supporters that are helping it throughout. Now, I know my statement is very long, so I really hope within my waffling, you kind of got the gist of what I'm saying. I'm also happy to simplify it for you if you need, if need be. Okay, can I come in on this one to just help Sister Selani? Uh, our observation, some of us who have been, who started voting in the 80s, is you need to understand that uh, uh, of creates ma, I think that it's, I think my opposition parties, mainly number one, is to divide the votes. Number two, it is to create an atmosphere which worldwide to recognize as if Zimbabwe is moving democratically. Saga, so you would find with this is why some of these parties they quickly jumped into Poland. The purpose of Poland, it was trying to create what were negotiations you are talking since it was a disputed election result. Saga, so you find that these parties are just to make a pericades into, into these elections. Like I'm saying, it's a creation of self, a sort of a democratic system or a democratic run country. So that they will never show up in what you're doing. And number two, triple C, you are saying why are they running with the why we are running with the voice? Let's vote in numbers. It is we are looking to say if the rigging is going to come, can they, they rig in large numbers? Although one day the Gafaris and Chatawara or Theo Ryang, you would say, how do they rig? Because a lot of people think they stuff boxes. They don't. They don't. If you can look at the last election, we had the three different figures which were announced. Why is that? You need to understand with my results pan over a polling station and in the command center. The command center plays around with figures. This is why Tikaya Sufunza not okay. Idea Ganga Sukwana Matasama Mama Fonsamangan. 
we can come all t- all the team Iripanapa with different results. Why they play with the figures, they play with the percentage. So that this must be understood. So CCC is rushing to, it's aging. Let's vote in numbers. And like someone was saying, progressive, and under and Snabutaw. He said Chamisa lost with 50,000 according to their numbers. And we are saying there are 2 million virgin voters. So we are trying to look to break that barrier of 50,000. What number you got you and I? So that this is why CC is in the upfront because they have the support. In the Angu, like example, just like I'm, I'll repeat this, who started to vote in the 80s. In 2000, I doubt. I doubt if ZANU PF ever won an election since 2000. This is my doubts. It's a personal opinion. And I'm caught, I can stand to say it's my personal observation. And Rukutaura. So these other parties don't expect them to come to the table. Thank you, I learned. Yes, uh, hello. Am I audible, guys? Yeah, I can hear you, Mkobata. All right, yes. So, Salani, you, I hope I pronounced it correctly. We have heard the history okay, of me um, butchering your name. Ah, you, you've learned now. You're not butchering <laughs> it anymore. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So, yeah, you asked about an organization such as uh, Zesni. They've actually been in existence for the longest, I think in the early 2000s. And they have been participating even in 2017. I think they alone... Uh, managed to cover uh, 33% of the polling stations. And they always produce position papers on the elections. Uh, I think right now people are fighting with an issue, for instance, of registration. Could he, should a political party be registered and how should it be registered? In 2017, they produced a position paper, the Itauranese registration in my political parties, and our law, uh, the Act, yeah, is it the Act year 2017 or is it in 2018 when the Act came out? But the, the Elections Act, but you know what, uh, there is a flow of registration and uh, you know, going to create my problems. I can find it my parties. You can go and see it on their website. <clears throat> so, in terms of their visibility, they have been having these conversations for time immemorial. <laughs> for as long as I, I don't know, I can remember. Uh, last year, I even hosted the director, who is, I think he's uh, uh, um, Makoni. That's the director of Zesni. And I had a conversation on spaces, and we were talking about uh, specifically how can a third eye, which is a political party neutral, because of my stance in terms of uh, how I want to support the politics of Zimbabwe. I want to support the politics of Zimbabwe from an objective perspective. And not to say people who have parties are not objective. I am just a different individual in that sense. That's how I want to come. So I was like to them, how can I bring observers without me bringing observers from a political party? That's how I said, okay, this is a vehicle that is already permitted to do that, right? Mm -hmm. It can bring any citizen who is Zimbabwean and is interested, registered voter, blah, 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 and wants to look at what is happening at the polling station. You can bring them uh, via an uh, organization such as that. And they've been doing it, but they haven't had their voice being amplified or their action being amplified. Even on the dispute of the 2018 election, <clears throat> they were one of the t- people who were cited what was their opinion to the election and I think they highlighted your incapacity how you could cover my polling stations like I wonder what you do and you know when I got creator my loopholes you see so they, they have been there it's just that could be sometimes in the game she puts on and I think if you look at them up right now their handle is this is me um one yeah on on Twitter it's called uh, Z- Z- Z-E-S-N. it's Z E S N yeah, yeah Z- okay. thank you. Yeah, okay. Z-E-S-N. And, and they, they, they've already been doing that. Then they've uh, been having conversation because their projection is that some political parties will not be able to cover all. And we have sponsors that are not willing to sponsor political parties uh, because of the history. So their projection has been that some political parties will fail 
to put uh, agents in all the, the 11,000 plus polling stations, which has seemed to increase. And it, <clears throat> so they have been on a, a, a drive to, to gather resources for themselves through other means. And they are more flexible in the sense that they can actually get some kind of international funding where it can be a bit tricky for political, for political parties. Now, um, so th this is one way of observing an election from a from a neutral uh, or from a, a non-aligned kind of position because they are supposed to have no political affiliation. Uh, although we know that sometimes as humans there is an inherent uh, bias. Uh, they have been accused in the past, like the director specifically, of being MDC or mainly uh, sided to the opposition. But that is because the work they were doing was uh, directed at exposing what the government had been accused or what the ruling party had been accused of. So such allegations would definitely uh, come up. But they, they have been doing amazing work. Then in terms of registration, if you see, there are smaller organizations that fall under Zesni that have been already doing registration drives. So you talk about instance uh, Vision Voter, the one that is pink and it is trying that it's trying to register. It's more from a feminine, uh, feminine, a feminist kind of perspective, where it is saying that it wants to register more girl children, uh, and that's why they're calling it uh, Vision Voter, blah 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 blah, that kind of thing. You can also look them up. They fall under that. Then there are a lot of other ones that come under that uh, uh, organization because it's actually a grouping of different uh, organizations that have been given permission uh, or accreditation to be able to do uh, election education or, or monitoring, <clears throat> you see. So they are already active. You just maybe see them through different smaller organizations. So when you see an organization, a small one, then look at its affiliation. In most cases, you see that it is affiliated with ZESNI. So ZESNI is sort of like the huge board that represents all of them, right? Yeah, even if you look at the Christians, um, I'm forgetting the name, it will click back because it's Twitter and exercise. So please pardon my breathing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, then what else did I want to say on that particular issue? So so those organizations are already active and they're already uh, doing registration drives. And at the same time, they're also trying to do create an environment where the, 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 the playing field is a bit more even. You see, and um, talking about the, the large numbers, they've also been citing an argument that I've been citing, which is, was presented here by the Apostle, but in a very uh, mild manner. I, I think he's not as brutal with his words as I tend to be sometimes. Kuti, it's not about going to, reg to, to vote more 10 million and think that you overwhelm the system. The system is happening at a command center where someone is simply told, all right, there are 10 million voters. So about 10 million voters, Papu, to longer to 51 percent, Zinget Ziruku side kwa Robert Mugabe. You see? So it doesn't change. The Guti Mayenda Kunu vote more 100 million. Excel, I tell the calculator 51 percent, the Guti 100 million. You see? So that's why the, this is a very important thing to understand. You see? That's why it's a very important thing to understand. Because numbers are needed, but numbers are not the antidote. Because the division in terms of percentage is being done with the calculator. Great thing we're all using smartphones. Try I could ten you know fifty one percent of hundred is tower so mapez also move a mati fifty one percent of uh, one billion. Turn out calculator going no rambe. I'm assuming good Murushans are my smartphone and a scientific calculate. A can I see nine of with some zero nine? It can I get a calculator good that I can go around by some zero nine, but uh, I don't think anyone still has a phone. Yeah, that and it, but you see, it won't have any complication. That's the point that I'm trying to bring. You see, so it's not about numbers only. The game is more complicated than that. And that's why we have to talk about these uh, mechanisms and have to have these safety features and have to have these records uh, right from one uh, polling station all the way to the command center. Tinema records and ngaripo. And I've always been of the view that we have to have three sets of records. One record in over who ruling party. One record in over who opposition. One record in over who a neutral observer which is, in this case, our non-affiliated uh, organizations, you see, uh, which all come under the bracket that I'm talking of, of ZESNI, or our non-affiliated citizens that just go and accredit themselves through ZEC and then avail them to a self to a specific polling station. Why do I advocate for the third observer over the two? Pagaita two chete, what's going to happen is, Kuti, Zanu ino budisa mavile venayo, CCC yo budisa mavile venayo, mavile venayo different, but SR authenticated, 
what happens in such a scenario i'm not saying there's a possibility of doing that i think the system is more big uh, more, 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 more robust than that but i'm just give citing a, a worst case scenario a third presenter would then say would i want to be two against one or three, two against that. You see that kind of thing. That 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 has been my view. It might be a bit uh, myopic, but I prefer having three different uh, observers uh, present. Then we international ano garawach uyo vaya ano tumirwa osongo uyo weta edition. Yet the creator system yedu ire bit more robust. You see. Zimbabwean hustler on. His then specifically to the other political parties not participating. Kone wanenge wana apa. They would like to. But the truth is, they are financially crippled. And it because it over and over good to sure they do not care about it. Uh, they are just there for the race. Uh, all they need is the thousand people from the different provinces, 10 from each province, to endorse them as a candidate. And they are good. And they can have a bit of noise in the last month before the election because they don't really have a view. A good watch a winner, you see. But the moment someone really gears up to say, that's where they get into this conversation. So level your confidence also is a deterrent in terms of how much someone invests into calling for voter registration or into a providing a polling agents or, or monitoring the election. Muna sina that confidence or a political party is not that confidence a teacher winner will not invest in any of the, 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 the above mentioned. You see. Thank you. Uh, I wanna go to the other part I said, Tadini, with regards to you mentioned three uh, the ways of uh, looking at uh, the results come um, defending it, right? Zanu provides it's the opposition, and then like uh, you mentioned <coughs> another organization which is non affiliated uh, politically. Now, I would like to say this that, like I said before, when we look at the oppositions if we look at the hundred plus political parties triple c is the only one that has literally is working uh, tirelessly to ensure that there's a way mechanisms in place to defend the vote none of the other political parties uh, have done this have or have we seen them doing anything to do with that and then the question we then pose to ourselves is what is the point of them i know we talk about uh, we need to have democracy and things like that but surely so we need to now come to a point even as citizens where we say we want oppositions if you're gonna be a political party and you've registered yourself you have to do the work right we need to see it if we don't see it then come voting day people should literally not even be putting a cross in panama my political party i don't i think it's a fair assessment because when we talk about this whole issue of defending the vote it's for all of us as citizens this is where we catch a push comes to shove and we need to see something happening so i've seen uh issues where we say zanu pf must go we need to start adding nema opposition or futa sirku shandak must go too because this is how the election results are being uh, sort of taken away that is the strategy yes zanu to create these other opposition parties where people then uh had divide the votes but if they're actually not doing anything then the message has to go forward to say not just zanu but even watu and my political parties that are not working guy and or footy and it makes things so simpler. So I'll, I'll end there. I know those were sick, I got a dinner, but uh, democracy somewhere. Pagadaika, it was a democratic right. You could tell our opposition, a panache, I repeat. Therefore, why do we vote for them? It's my democratic right. Yeah, so if you if you interact with my opposition, I can wonder. So, sorry before you. Uh, thanks a lot, Sister Salani, for that contribution. Um, guys, Chuma, are you there? Just put your hand up if you are still there. Uh, or Winaru, if you are still there. Winaru, please. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm guys, I'm just going to pick up my daughter. So what I'll do, I'll just leave the phone on the table. I'm not here. Uh, you know what to do. Thank you. Okay, no problem. No problem, my brother. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. Okay, I'm here. Don't worry. Yeah, just a quick one. I was going to say, you know, uh, what happens, Solan? There are political parties that obviously are in it for the wrong reasons. All right. Then there are political parties that have assessed their probability of winning and they've seen that they will not win the presidential and do not need to invest big. And what those political parties have done is to invest in their own localities. Because I'll tell you that Zapu seems very silent. 
in terms of calling for voter registration. But if you look at how aggressive they are within their localities, where they have a confidence of winning or at least stealing some seats from the traditional uh, juggernauts, which happen to be CCC and ZANU PF, they are very active. You see, and they are ready, and they, they, they also have polling agents and ETC. So the, the silence from other political parties in terms of the international perspective is because it is not their dog, right? They, they don't have a dog in the fight. They know that they cannot win a presidential at the moment. They're trying to just gr grow their base. I was having a conversation with one of the leaders and Jetauro Tukupi. And his objective was mainly, and up to now, is mainly to just win a uh, two uh, seats. And the two seats that he wants to, I've looked at the candidate that he has, I've looked at the region that he's talking about in the current candidates holding post there. He does have a shot. And then from those two seats, he wants to use them as his stepping stool. He wants to say, in these two seats, Tova Taitama wonders and we'll invest in our two candidates, then we'll create a heaven on earth in these two separate seats that we win. And when we do that, that creates a springboard for 2028. So there are political parties that are coming into it for 2028, and they are citing the failures not only of the current government, but the failures of also the main opposition or the de facto opposition, you see. And they are not even willing to invest in the rest of the nation. They are mainly focused on their small localities and there are promises that in that small locality, they are going to do magic that has never yet been seen in Zimbabwe. And that their, their intent is not to blame anyone who take a winner seat over today. So they want to go it the job, uh, the, the Bob, uh, Bobby Wine way where you win one MP seat and that MP becomes the most radical of all in an entire parliament and that MP develops their area like crazy, then people call for that MP to be president. Then voila, today you have a Bobby Wine. You see, that is the trajectory that they are taking. And I can say this for three political parties. Then obviously, kuneva ripo yekuti havana need. Vango ripo kutitinziti ni mabatu. And it, you shouldn't expect those to say anything. The other smaller ones that I mentioned, it's a political strategy. They know at the moment that they do not have the muscle to do that. Ukava vunza waka is my interview. They will obviously say what is expected. Yes, we need everyone to register, blah, blah, blah. They will give the lip service that is necessary. But they are not really ready to invest in it because they know that the main price is not going to be theirs in 2023. They are creating springboards for, for 2028. And uh, in, in this one, I have to say that a, a, a opposition has to a, a perform better in this coming election. And when they have seats, they have to perform better in their seats because that is the only way you then eradicate these minor uh, opponents because they become useless, you see. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so sorry. So Tadini, it still comes to what I said, Kuti. Instead of us always saying ZANU PF must go, even these oppositions, despite their whatever messaging, whatever plans they have, they are literally dividing votes. Uh, that's that's the honest truth, right? Because if I watch it in Dupa, if I don't see Anna, they would be It's a civic, right? <laughs> uh, we've got right to then denounce all Futiga because I think. Yeah. It, the game is politics. Hey, can I teach you the Zanu PF must go? Ne wamu wama political party asira jaru kuita jatu kuna jne msoro. What's the point of voting for them? We want change, and this means kuti everywhere to kuto da change. Junjunoneka kuti tuku batsirana. So I think the wrong messaging here. We've always centered on Zanu PF, but we also have polit ma polit opposition amwe. You know, in the UK, we've got labor, we've got what not, what not. You know how they combat each other. It's not always about conservative, ne labor. Even my lib dem. And I think we need to broaden our horizon. Don't all the time. Because we're in a fight of our lives as Zimbabweans. And I honestly, the thought of having Zanu PF or any other political party that does not understand Kuti Zanu must go. It's actually something to not only nightmares. So I think we need to start broadening our campaign. Kuti, where say I see the should be progressive. Guy, end simple and straightforward. Can I come uh, in? Uh, yes, yes, well, uh, go ahead, go ahead. 
Thank you very much, uh, Wenaro. Much appreciated. Good space, good discussion going. Um, firstly, on the if we look at the principles of democracy, it allows for free participation of any political entity in the political environment. So therefore, the cries from CCC that there shouldn't be other political players would we did not say they shouldn't excuse be me, Salani, no don't excuse, lie about no, what we said you can't make say me the correct thing i will sake. definitely interject my nobody opinion. said they should it's my not opinion. be no it's not your it opinion is, you're saying we've said so it's, it's no longer an opinion. opinion it is not an opinion you are, you are saying that is what CCC has been person said person and that is not universe. what has been said wellington correct your narrative no correct your narrative until you correct it you're not going to go for it Thank you. I will not well, be then don't your then so we'll keep, it's gonna be about you and me. It's gonna no be about way. you and me then. Whatever. That's suit absolutely yourself. fine. Oh suit definitely. Yourself. I do suit myself. You know yeah, that continue. already. And I will speak you cannot my come mind. on a platform you you cannot tell me not to come on a political party. Don't lie. We know that he said they shouldn't be political parties. You like to change narrative. Okay, 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 guys. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Wellington, I'm so sorry about um, about that, but I think I have to take you down uh, because uh, it seems like uh, of are not So to this discussion goes. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. We spread democracy. We speak democracy, right? Uh, actually, I I know Wellington as 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 an. Is is not affiliated and critical to any political party, Salani. I don't know what's happening with Wellington, but please let's allow him to speak. Thank you. You're not going to take him down. Uh, I just remove him uh, for the sake of the conversation. Please, um, can we? Let's no. ask anybody. When we preach democracy, let's practice democracy. We preach democracy. We practice democracy. Machuma, can you hear me? Well, I end up with Pico Wellington, watch it then. Where I can hear you. You're not you. supposed to take him down, guys. No, that's not fair. And it's not right at all. Let Machuma let Wellington take him down. Yeah. It's yeah. not a problem. But that's a town yeah. that is not a town, Machuma. If you were listening, because I don't remember fighting. Now, let, uh, let me tell you what happened, Machuma, yeah. if I may. He came yeah. on and said, he insinuated that I said, we should not have any other political parties. That is not what I said. So if he wants to come and bring a submission, let him bring it to factual Jataurwa, not to insinuate things which were not said. That nobody's fighting democracy here, Machuma. Nobody's doing that. But let's also understand, Kuti. Can I put Taurwa something? Taurwa Jataurwa, don't lie. You can also not say kuti murukutendera democracy, irrespective of who they support. Let's not do that. I will carry on with my thinking, and I have not uh, directed uh, anything to anybody in particular. I have a, 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 a conversant of the political space in Zimbabwe. I see that I've continued to ask and interrogate, why are there so many political parties in Zimbabwe? And fundamentally, who is funding them? But on the basis of democracy, I cannot hold a thought to deny any Zimbabwean political entity to have free play in the political space in Zimbabwe and leave it there. Therefore, I cannot advocate that there should be purging or reducing of political players in the, in the sphere of Zimbabwe. Though I see that it is uh, retrogressive that there are something like a hundred political parties and so many presidential aspirants because it doesn't really help to resolve the political stability of Zimbabwe. But that's just my opinion. But on the fundamentals of democracy, they are free to operate and to fight for votes in the political space democratically. So that is where I leave that be. And I will not agree with any person or entity that may advocate that certain political parties should cease to exist in Zimbabwe. It's not democratic. Having said that, so, and then I move to the actual, my thinking is when I look at the elections in Zimbabwe to 2023, 
my I would have a concern to if I was if I took the hat and I was in the strategic uh, circle of CCC is to look that what it what fundamentally must happen on the ground with the political uh, systems electoral system that we have it means that does CCC have the resources to deploy their 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 polling agents and all associated infrastructure to monitor the election election in every single polling station to collate that data themselves as a checking mechanism independent of the electoral process uh, constitutional process of zec that is there and to stand by that uh, collation so that it is admissible in a court of law should the results later show that it has been tampered. And if CCC cannot garner enough resources to do that, then, you know, it will not, uh, it will not deliver a progressive political decision come 23 for the benefit of Zimbabwe. Because if they are able to collect an independent system that shows where they lost, they can agree they lost, and where they won, they can agree that they lost, and the numbers tally. That would be a most wonderful system. And then it brings me to the to the point whereby I am so saddened. This is my particular issue with uh, with Coupe, though she seems very popular in Matabeleland. Is that fundamentally, when I look at it, is that the problems that they have in stripping down the opposition in Parliament that we used to have. And the resultant effect that the political funding that the opposition was entitled through through constitutional means in parliament has gone to a dead entity, so to speak, and leaving CCC to look for funding from its members across the globe. It would be fine if that uh, resources can be can be taken hold of and they use it. If not, that means that it will undermine the ability of CCC to deploy resources to every single polling station. And that is sad for the democracy of Zimbabwe. Not that this is a mechanism to put CCC into power, because in my thinking, it should deliver a credible election and credible results that can be accepted by all so that post-election Zimbabwe can be governed democratically by those who have gone into the system, fortified and won. That is my fundamental question that I'm looking at it. I'm not looking or to point someone or to that is n does nothing for Zimbabwe. What does something for Zimbabwe is that there is a strong government that has been elected by the people who have voted freely and operated freely in the political space of Zimbabwe. And I would echo sentiments that were spoken to by Tadini in terms specifically in Matebeleland. We cannot ask that the Twagazi party should not exist or that Zapu should not play or that ZANU itself should not play or CCC. But we're looking forward to that in those constituencies, that political play, including campaign, must be free and fair and that all those political entities will deploy observers to buttress the results so that losers accept and winners go in to lead people freely because people have chosen them. And this is particularly important. This is why I've had to rescind my objection to Cooper, though I still believe that she has no mandate because she brought us to this scenario and this cost, costly scenario that we have. But if the people want it, who am I to nullify that the people want it? So be it. Let her play. She's a Zimbabwean to act politically and to affiliate as she wants, even changing and even to seek high office. Because that is what democracy is. And democracy is a stable form of government that can usher in prosperity for the citizens of Matebeleland. And I rest my case, nothing less, nothing more. I am not fighting CCC and I'm not even trying to put CCC into power or get them out of power. So listen to, this is only my opinion and i'm not even imposing it or trying to destroy the space here it is my opinion and i am zimbabwean to have an opinion even if it is regarding ccc or it touches ccc in any shape 
or four. I thank you and I hope I have not lied in giving you